When I began my research study on the effect of whey protein concentrate in mice, that's the animal we were using for, I did not expect to stumble on the role of glutathione. What we did, in fact, we observed accidentally that mice eating this type of protein were able to mount a stronger immune response when challenged with bacteria, antigen, or cancer. But then, later on, we observed that these animals, in fact, were able to synthesize glutathione more effectively than the control animal. And then, of course, we had to find out what was the role of glutathione, and that we took advantage of the enormous and abundant uh, data from the medical literature on the function of glutathione. The way it operates as a detoxifier, it links with the poison uh, through an enzyme called conjugase, and when they are linked together, the poison becomes soluble. And if a poison is soluble, it's no longer poison. It, it leaves the body through the urine. For example, lead, cadmium, and, uh, and all sorts of carcinogen. So I'll never forget his first words. He said, you know, I'm actually a surgeon, but I don't know. I have always been intrigued by the fact that babies who get mother's milk for six months, 12 months, are much more healthy than those on the best baby food. They don't get allergies so soon, they don't develop cancer so soon, they just have a stronger immune system. So, what's the difference? Mother's milk. So it has to be in mother's milk. There is good evidence the amino acid cysteine is not only a precursor for our uh, proteins, it's also a very important source of glutathione a major antioxidant in our body. The availability of cysteine and glutathione decline with age, and whey protein is actually the best natural source for cysteine. So uh, Gustavo Boros, through his work, provided health benefits for many people. The case of this lady I'm referring to, she had a pulmonary fibrosis. She had no lung function left when I saw her. She had one liter lung capacity. She couldn't breathe. She was a candidate for a lung transplant. She had no other choice. She was treated with antibiotic, bronchodilator, steroid without effect. Then comes along this milk-derived protein that cure her. Sounds like a stunning statement to make, but she was well documented by two independent uh, lung disease specialists at McGill in two different hospitals. She was given the treatment with this whey protein concentrate called immunocal, she lung capacity went back to three liter point three. She was stopped the treatment. She went back to one liter. She was gasping for hair two, three times to make sure it was not a fluke. It was a real effect of the treatment. Now this, the second lesson we derive from her is a lesson of humility for the established medicine, because if steroid. The best of antibiotics, bronchodilator, couldn't do anything for this lady. And here comes this milk derived protein that actually cured her. It's been now a year since. She's doing very well. In the case of Nina Pratouche, she recognized that despite taking a variety of medications, her condition was not improving. Uh, she started taking Immunocal on her own initiative and had a dramatic improvement in her function. Uh, when her doctor called me up, he was uh, quite surprised, but when we discussed it, I discussed that there was a very good basis for why it might be improving. This is one case that I've been following very carefully. Uh, this is of a woman uh, who had a Hodgkin's disease, which is a type of uh, cancer, and uh, she was subjected to a lot of radiotherapy. Subsequently, she developed a lot of scarring in her lungs, something we call uh, pulmonary fibrosis. And this pulmonary fibrosis left her quite breathless. Uh, she was someone who was very active. She was a lawyer. Uh, she was taking care of her kids. And she found herself stuck at home, essentially, on uh, home oxygen. Now, we tried all different kinds of treatment. We tried inhaled steroids, bronchodilators, uh, different kinds of medications. And really, she just was not getting any better. Uh, one day, she showed up uh, to a pulmonary physician saying, uh, look, I can breathe. And not knowing whether this was placebo or not, we did some pulmonary function tests on her. And sure enough, uh, she was back to 95% of normal. You know, after 20 years of being very concerned in the wellness industry, 
concerned about what the individual could do for their own self-protection. In fact, even after going to medical school and being involved in medical practice, I had never had this particular idea go through my mind of the individual cell protecting itself. See, each particular cell in the body is trying to protect itself for its own health. The cell on the face is protecting itself against an ultraviolet ray when you're sunbathing. A cell in the gut is protecting itself from a carcinogen that gets into the diet. Every cell in the body is protecting itself on a daily basis. And in order to do that, this cell has its own defensive mechanism. And that's where glutathione is so important. It's the cell's principal defensive molecule in its own defense. And what Dr. Bonus was able to do was to allow us to take an action step, to do something to enable the cell, to facilitate the cell, being able to make more glutathione in its own protection. And by being able to do that, I think he has started a revolution. When Jim Haig approached me in the fall of 1998, he was concerned because he had been on chemotherapy for widespread or metastatic prostate cancer, and his treatment had caused him to have heart toxicity and because of that uh, his treatment had been discontinued and he would have been classified as a treatment failure and uh, he was on left on a small dose of prednisone only because of associated inflammation of the heart muscle he came to me hoping that I might be able to suggest some kind of alternative treatment since at that point in time the uh, oncologist had not been able to offer him anything else and I said to him, look, I'm going to think about possibly putting you on Immunical because of what I know about it, and I'm going to discuss it with your, your, your urologist. And I did. And the urologist said to me, uh, to my surprise pleasantly, why not? Let's try him on it. And so at that point in time, uh, having had the treatment failure, he started on Immunical one packet per day, and he had at that time when he started a PSA of 208 and after one month his PSA dropped down to a level of 28 which in itself was amazing but it was only one month so we waited until the second month and at the second month it was 11 and at that point of time we realized that we were having an amazing response in addition to which uh, he felt very much better much improved his symptoms of fatigue and of having a, uh, a depressed outlook uh, were alleviated to a great degree. He felt substantially better and was able to take his vacation in Florida, which he usually does in late fall, and to be able to look forward to enjoying it. So in other words, it turned his situation around and enabled him to have a much improved quality of life and to resume his life the way he would have liked to at that point in time physician who's been in actual medical practice for just this side of 40 years, uh, I've had many opportunities to observe metabolic problems uh, manifested through the aging process of many of my patients. And Immunical offers us a chance to reverse some of those, some of the ravages of time and actually see uh, improvements that I have never witnessed before. I have one case of a 48-year-old female with renal cell carcinoma, and it was at the point in, the, in her life, basically, that the oncologist had said, you know, there's something we can do for you, but really not very much, and the, and the percentages of survival are pretty thin, and they'd given her several choices, and so I came in contact with this patient, and we put her on uh, Immunical aggressively, on Immunical uh, two packs four times a day. And um, we also did what we thought was important for her lifestyle changes. And I can say that from that time that we started, uh, we began to see her uh, energy return and her uh, general feeling of well-being uh, almost immediately improve. And then following that, over a period of years now, it's been several years, we have had CAT scan evidence of the um, primary metastatic sites to actually resolve on, with no other chemotherapy or irradiation, just on Immunical and, and lifestyle, to resolve where now we have, and by the way, the metastasis went to the liver and the lungs and up the lymph nodes in the neck. And um, we've seen those uh, diminish where all of the pulmonary nodules secondary to this metastasis in the lungs are gone. The major 
tumors in the liver gone except one, and that's been shrinking. And all the adenopathy is resolved in, in the neck and the and lymph nodes in the neck. So we've been excited about that, and of course she's been really excited about it because from a person who had been given seven weeks to six months to live, um, that's been several years ago now, she's still going strong and uh, enjoying life. So those are the kind of things that we've seen with Immunical. One of the most dramatic uh, users or changes in a, in a user uh, that I've observed is the uh, change in Mildred Wade who's a patient of mine for many years whom I've watched as a diabetic difficult to control and I've watched her deteriorate to the point where uh, a little more than a year ago she became confused we had her on medication for Alzheimer's disease she was mentally out in left field a good deal of the time. She had lost her personality. She had lost her enthusiasm. She was barely able to walk. She had become incontinent. She, had, uh, she really wasn't functioning as a person anymore. But thanks to the care that her sister gave her and also to the miracle, and I really think of it as a miracle, of Immunical, uh, Mildred has regained her mental acumen. She can carry on a good conversation. Her sense of humor is better than ever. Uh, she, except for the fact that she has some visual problems that are going to be operated upon soon, uh, her circulation in her legs is better. Her diabetes is controlled in a way that we were never able to achieve before and she is able to ambulate. She's able to control her, her incontinence problem, is, is gone. She functions. She walks into my office now. I used to make house calls on Mildred because there was no other way to see her. So in every way, I would offer Mildred as a case in point, not by any chance our only case in point, but a very dramatic and wonderful one whose uh, improvement is uh, ninety five percent due to Immunical because of the dramatic nature of the change that she underwent after she started it.